the images in this video are not as fat as they appear. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook? Watakwan? It's your main man, Bishop. And today is May 24th, which just so happens to be the greatest day in the world next to Jesus because it's my birthday. Today I turned a big two, five, 25 years old today. So, I decided to do a video, my man, my ace, my slick, my youngin, my yult, he asked me to do a video for him, and I told you guys I was going to do the video on some of the different trucking companies that I've looked into and the information I gathered from them. So, some of the videos I have done have led up to this, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the information I told you I was going to give you. So, first up is US Express. Um, US Express had a dedicated account that I liked. I'm not really sure what it was because it didn't uh, give you too many details on it. Kind of found out you had to have three months experience. But, they do take new drivers and I only got a little bit of information for, so bear with me. So what I found out is that the average mileage for a solo on the road driver is between 2,200 and 2,500 miles per week. Um, their orientation is three days long. They pay you $58 per day for the orientation. Um, and the way their training works is you have to spend 175 hours. Um, I believe that's behind the wheel. And the average time that's supposed to take is four to five weeks. And during that time, they pay you $70 per day. Um, the way their home time works is you have to be out between 17 and 21 days. And for that 17 to 21 days out, you get two to three days home. So I'm guessing they're doing like a lot of the companies, which is 24 hours home for every seven days you spend out. Next, Royal. And Royal was a company that I was really, really looking into because of their home time options. So a little bit of information I got about them. The orientation. The orientation is one week long. Um, I do believe that for the orientation pay. I'm sorry. Skip past that. Because I don't know what that says. They do have tuition reimbursement. It's $150 a month up to $6,000 total. So I'm guessing if you're like me and you pay for school out of your pocket, it's pretty good. Um, you only spend 11 to 14 days out with a trainer. Um, and you make $90 a day. Um, the average miles for a solo driver is between 2100 and 2600 miles per week. Um, they say that the average driver is averaging about $936 a week in pay. I'm guessing that's gross. Um, you have to stay out, uh, between 11 and 11 and 14 days. I think they also have that 14 days out, seven days home and seven days out, seven days home schedule, depending on what you're looking for. That's kind of like considered a part-time driving position. Um, the way they work is they start you out at 32 cents per mile. After three months, you go up to 36 cents a mile, and after six months, you go up to 38 cents a mile. Um, so it's not that bad. And I also got a little bit of information about their um, insurance, and I believe the insurance was between 70 and 99 dollars a week if you have a family. I didn't get the single numbers because I have a family. So. I apologize, my notebook is all jumbled because I got a bunch of information that I didn't write in order. So bear with me. Another company I looked in is Abilene. Uh, Abilene was a company that is actually right beside um, my truck driver school. Um, and the way Abilene works is, is you're out in training with a trainer for four to six months. Not weeks, months. Um, and during that time, the truck is ran like a team truck. So the trainee is paid 19 cents per mile on all miles driven on that truck. Um, they pay every two weeks, not every week like most of the companies, but it's every two weeks. 
I do believe that they have 100% um, auto trucks. They do not have tuition reimbursement. Um, they, they have orientation and it's for two days. Um, it's not paid at all. Um, and the average solo driver on OTR is 2,500 miles per week through 3,000 miles per week. Um, they said it's your home almost every weekend. And after you finish your four to six months training, they start you off at 35 cents per mile. So, and also the home time. The home time on regional, and I believe it's the same as OTR, um, you spend two weeks out, you get two days home. home. So I guess it's the same with that 24 hours um, for every seven days out. So that was what I found out on Abilene Transportation. Next, have Snyder. Um, now with Snyder, I only looked into their Walmart account because they had a Walmart account I was interested in. Um, so I'm, I can only give you information on a Walmart account that they had coming out of Virginia. Um, I believe it's out of Gordonsville, Virginia. So I'm giving information out on that. Um, the average pay for a new driver is 38000 per year. Um, you start off at $0.34 cents per mile, and then they have increments at three months, six months, nine months in a year. I don't have those written down, but I do remember that. Um, they have two options. I know you can do five days out, two days home, or six days out, two days home. I believe with the... Uh, Five days out, two days home, you're home every Tuesday and Wednesday. And with the six days out, two days home, you have rotating days. Um, I don't believe that they ever fall on a weekend. I think they rotate between the week. So that was that. Um, they said that if you staff for six days running the Gordonsville Walmart account, um, there is an average of 2,100 to 2,300 miles per week. If you do the five and two, it's 1,800 to 2,000 miles per week. And after you do your initial stop and your initial home, any extra stops in between pays your extra $15. Didn't get a lot of information, but that's what I have on a Snyder Walmart account. Also did my research on Swift transportation. Um, the way Swift works is um, I looked at their regional and their regional only. So with the regional account, uh, well, I mean, I'm sorry, with the regional drivers, um, the way you work is starting out, the orientation is three days. You make minimum wage during those three days. Yeah, no comment. Also, you spend four to five weeks with a trainer. You have to spend 200 hours behind the wheel. And the way the pay works for that, you make minimum wage while you're not driving and nine dollars and fifty cents an hour while you are driving yeah also they start you at a 33 cents per mile and you go up to 37 cents per mile after a year and they said the average miles per week for a driver over at Swift is 3,000 miles per week I'll let you guys do the math but it don't work out for me so another company I looked at that I was interested because they had some stuff here was Celadon. Um, Celadon does OTR is two weeks out, two days at home. Um, even if you are a experienced or a new driver, they call it a ref five day refresher um, that you have to do. And the way the training goes is you spend 10,000 miles with a trainer at 18 cents per mile. Um, and then once you upgrade it to a solo driver, you make 29 cents per mile. The average miles for a driver over there is 2,500 miles per week. And so, like I said, you start off at 29 cents per mile. After you accomplish 120,000 miles, you raise your pay up to 33 cents a mile. Now, not for me either. So, next was Stevens. I'm going to save the best two I have for last. Next was Stevens Transportation. Um, the average miles per week for a solo driver was between 2,600 and 3,100 miles per week. Um, you do eight weeks of training. And the training goes like this. You have to spend 240 hours behind the wheel. For, and that's supposed to take five weeks. You make $700 per week. 
The orientation is four days. Um, they do not pay you for orientation, but they do pay for all your meals. Um, they do pay for all all miles on the truck, um, and they do tuition reimbursement as well. I believe it's a hundred dollars a month, up to seven thousand um, dollars. You start off at twenty eight six per mile. At six months, you go up to twenty nine cents per mile. Nine months, you go up to thirty cents per mile. The OTR for them, um, they want you to be out at least three to four weeks, and you earn one day for every seven days out. Um, you have to stay with them 90 days before you can. You have to be 90 days solo driving out there training before you can be eligible for a dedicated route. Um, I was interested in Stevens because they have some gorgeous trucks. Uh, they have some really, really nice equipment. A former driver and a former student at the school I went to bought his truck up there. He was the lease operator. He had a gorgeous truck. So, saving the best two for last, and I apologize. These are going to be mixed up because I had a pen that bled through the backside of this page. So, this is going to be a little jumble. It's going to take me a second to kind of see it. It's Prime Transportation, Prime Inc. Um, the way Prime works is, depending on the division you go to, determines how long your training is. So, um, I believe they said for dry van and reefer and flatbed, it's um, the training is four, approximately four weeks. If you wanted to do tanker, it's a little longer. Um, and you have to do 40,000 miles with that trainer, so that's why. So I'm guessing, you know, for more like five to six weeks, uh, 40,000 miles with the trainer. They pay $600 a week when you're starting off, and then halfway through, you get jumped up to $700 per week for your training, which is not bad. The orientation is four days. Um, and I believe they send you up there to Missouri. Um, the reefer. So for the reefer, it's the starting pay is 43 cents per mile loaded and empty. I believe dry is 42 cents per mile loaded empty and the tanker is 45 cents per mile loaded empty which is not bad numbers at all um, I believe that the tanker out of all of that is probably gonna run the least amount of miles on all of them because you know Reaper reefer is usually running the most miles and drives the second and then uh, tanker is third but that's the information I got on Prime. Um, Prime was to me was a really, really good company, and it was a really strong option. The only thing I didn't like about Prime was the last thing I want to say is that they expect you to be out for three to four weeks, and you earn one day home, one day home for every seven days out, which was not something I was interested in. But if you're a person that doesn't mind being out, Prime looks like a really, really good choice. Uh, from what I know about Prime, they take really good care of their equipment. They give them nice equipment, and they're really good to their driver. So Prime is gives thumb up for me and last but not least is the company that I decided to go which is night transportation and the way night works is if you are a new driver meaning you've already graduated from CDL school like I have you go through the second phase of their squire program which is their training program um, the orientation is three to four days they pay you I believe it's just a hundred dollars for the orientation hundred between hundred hundred fifty dollars um, Doing that, 40, you have the training out with a trainer. You're out between four and six weeks at $400 a week. So the pay is kind of low for training. But they pay you $400 a week while you're out for training. Um, for the OTR guys, um, if you're looking to go OTR, they want you to be out between 14 and 21 days. And you get between two and three days home. The average miles per week for the OTR guys is between 2500 and 3000 by the way, this is reefer numbers because I was doing reefer numbers for night. Um, if you're a regional guy like I was interested in doing, you're out for seven to ten days and you can still do the two to three days home. The average for a regional drive is between 2,000 and 2,500 miles a week. Um, and the way, okay, so the way their pay scale works, and I can give you a little bit more information because this is what I know. Um, also, they do tuition reimbursement. It's $35 a week paid out every Monday. Um, 
up to, I think, $5,500. I think if you paid more money, then they'll extend more money, but I think that's the basis. But I do know they pay $35 a week out to us, so it ended up being $140 a month for tuition reimbursement. Um, and Knight pays on a sliding scale. So what happens is when you come off the trainer truck, you know, phase one of your sliding scale, and the sliding scale is between 32 cents a mile and 41 cents a mile for the reefer side. I believe it's the same one's right. Um, after you complete 30,000 miles solo, your probationary period is over, you're done with your squire, you become a regular solo driver, you're upgraded after 30,000 miles, you're upgraded to 37 cents to 46 cents a mile. So for those who don't understand how sliding scales work, it works like this. So for the beginning of it, 32 cents to 41 cents, basically the shorter the run, meaning the shorter distance you're driving, the more cents per mile you get paid. The longer the distance, the less per mile you get paid. So think about it. If you do a 50 mile trip, you'll probably make somewhere around 41 cents a mile. If you do a 500 plus mile trip, you would get paid somewhere around 32 cents a mile. So it makes it so that um, you make more money on a shorter run, so they kind of try to level it out. It's never going to be even, of course. Nobody wants to do a 200 mile run, but having a higher pay scale than you would normally have for your longer runs kind of compensates for you taking those shorter runs. So, guys, the video is getting kind of long. That's the information I have on the companies. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, do all those things so I can see that you're still interested. If you got a video you want to know about, information you want me to look up, or something I may already know I can find out, please comment below. Once again, God bless y'all. Appreciate y'all. Pray for me as I pray for y'all. Um, and like I said, man, listen, there's enough money out here for all of us. We might as well get to it. By the way, I'm about to do a motivation video. Because some of us need it. Till then, peace.